Focusing Off Blindness, Theorising Digital Literacy Engagements is an insights piece by Elizabeth L. Nelson, Mia Perry and Teresa Rogers. The paper is informed by a recent youth-focused arts-based research project between Canada and Scotland, led by Mia Perry, Diana R. Collier, with Jennifer Rousoff and Teresa Rogers. The paper came from discussions and observations at the Glasgow site. These observations were around a disconnect between the way we were talking about the digital with the young people and the young people's understandings and relationship to the digital. This paper um, begins with a brief historiography of terms that express our relationship with the digital and how that relationship has changed over time. And we then introduce the term offlineness a term that builds on current language around digital practices, yet addresses an element of young people's experiences that we believe is not adequately represented. That is, that while we accept that we live in a digitally connected world, there are moments in our lives we choose to subjectively feel as more offline than online, like going on a hike or being with a loved one or these moments that are just ours. So we've introduced, reintroduced this binary language of online and offline, but we have repositioned it along a continuum of more or less connectivity. So in doing so, allows a radical new conception of thinking about our relationship with and to the digital in our lives. So our research foregrounds multiple encounters, digital and analog, that are determined by the individual's subjective understanding of whether the moment is more or less offline. Offlineness allows for a research paradigm and ideas that fall outside of traditional spaces of learning and research. And we argue that scholars and educators, ignoring these critical kind of in-between spaces, potentially miss key insights into how youth and young people are experiencing and designing their own literacies and interactions. So this paper is an invitation. Uh, for people to engage in the discussion of how the current language we use around the digital doesn't adequately reflect what's happening. And to consider our word offlineness as a productive tool to reconstruct learning and inquiry spaces with young people. We hope that you enjoy the paper. Thank you.